Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for October the 8th of 2019. Well, it is titled Sprite Lightning in HD. So what do we see here? Well, this is an example of lightning, but a different kind of lightning than what we are used to with great lightning bolts coming down from the clouds. This is actually what we call red sprite lightning and is a relatively new phenomena that we have been studying for the last few decades. And in fact, it's only been the last 30 years or so that we've actually documented it and been able to photograph it. And that was done back by the shuttle in the late 1980s looking down on thunderstorms from above and they were able to get some images of this to actually document it for the first time. Now these are different from ordinary lightning in a number of ways we see their structures just look different with all the long tendrils going down and looking somewhat like a jellyfish perhaps hanging in the sky. Now they only last for a tiny fraction of a second which is one of the reasons they're so hard to study and they don't occur regularly although they can be associated with big thunderstorms they're not always they're not every thunderstorm does not have the sprite lightning. So there also seem to be other conditions that we're still trying to pin down exactly what the requirements are for the sprite lightning to form so that we can try to better understand it. So this is a process we're still trying to understand within our own atmosphere. Now, as I said, these have been relatively recently documented uh, in the late 1980s by this uh, scientists on the space shuttle and other scientists photographed from the University of Minnesota got Im images of them that same year. But however, there are reports of them having gone back much further than that. And if you look back into the history, they've even go back into the 17 and 1800s that there have been potential sightings of them, but not being able to be documented. So perhaps we've been able to see them, but not been able to record them or document them. And because they are very transient, they occur very quickly, um, not regular basis that we see, uh, they've been very difficult to be able to study. Now since the late 1980s, we've been able to photograph them many times in much more detail. And hopefully as we start to try to understand better exactly what is going on in a thunderstorm, we will be able to understand this phenomena as well. So it is sometimes interesting to consider how little we still know about even our own atmosphere and something that we've been studying for a long, long time here on Earth, uh, trying to understand exactly what goes on and still finding new types of lightning that we see here and trying to understand how those can form. So when we think about how little we still know about our own atmosphere, which is studied in depth, it makes us realize how little we know about other atmospheres and other objects out there in the solar system, the galaxy and the universe. So that was our picture of the day for October the 8th of 2019. It was titled Sprite Lightning in HD. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be Starburst. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.